Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Particle Vortex node. So we're going to jump into Fusion where we've got an emitter set up and I've just got it at point cluster with apply mode set to add, color over life, and the region we've got set up as a sphere and I've got 200 particles, lifespan is 600 and no velocity. And uh, lifespan variance of 100 so we have got that so the particle vortex what the particle vortex node does is it applies like a rotational force on your particles and it causes it to draw it towards the source vortex so let's go ahead and throw a p vortex node down And by default, you see it's throwing a sphere as a region in there. But this isn't necessarily the region that's being affected. This is your vortex itself. So we're going to just say when inside all go to our controls and right here under your size, you have your size of your vortex. And if I push play, you can see it is causing our uh, particles to rotate and your size definitely determines that rotation in addition to your size determining the rotation of it the location of your emitter based off that vortex makes a difference as well so if i bring it in closer you can see it's enacting it a little faster if i bring it up further a lot slower because on your P vortex, you have strength and power. So your strength is going to be how strong it is and your positive values are going to make it go counterclockwise. Your negative values are gonna make it go clockwise. Now your power itself is that fall off. So if I crank our power up, and let it play through. You can see our fall off is so strong, it's not even uh, forcing our particles to follow that vortex. But if I drop our power down, you can see it's uh, making those uh, forces apply to the vortex. So the power out operates kind of reverse of what you think. So this is basically the fall off of that power. So you can see as I go up, that fall off is diminishing. As I bring the power down, it's going back up. So first, let's go ahead and uh, change our render. So we're not uh, waiting for that to render out. So we're gonna pre-generate some frames here. And let's just do 100. So we've got our uh, vortex going. Now your additional tabs on your vortex node is you have your conditions. So how probable that vortex will uh, interact with your particles, the age where you want it to start. And we have our sets Our region. We have all of our typical region modes. And for our region types, we have all our typical region types. Now, the one thing we want to remember is if we want multiple vortexes going on, we really want to make sure we're using different vortexes and not adding emitters into the vortex itself to have multiple emitters going in the same vortex because it can cause problems. So if we say wanted a, another vortex with particles going on and have it going backwards, we could just copy both of these. Let's go ahead and paste them. And, uh, let me back this up. And we're going to get a P merge and merge our two systems together. And bring that out. And we're going to change the location of this emitter. And on this vortex, we're going to make it a little smaller, actually. And let's bring this in even closer. There we go. 
and let's go ahead and change our style so we've got uh, some different colors going let's say make this orange we'll make this uh kind of a white there so in order to make this go backwards all we have to do is go to our vortex sorry not vertex our vortex and under our strength we can just back it up so now we've got one going one way and another going another way let's go ahead and bring this in a little closer so we've got a smaller uh, vortex going so there we go. We've got two emitters using two vortexes to drive the particles. So that is the P vortex node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.